thing about plasma is it'll cut anything that conducts electricity, steel and stainless and aluminum. So if it conducts electricity, plasma will cut it. That's the neat thing about plasma. No need to go inside the machine or the back of the machine to do anything. You adjust your air pressure in the front, you adjust your amperage setting, turn your compressor on and off, your gun connection and ground connections right here in the front. Nothing in the back, nothing to mess around with. Plasma has a bunch of safety features too. Okay, and again, you're dealing with, with hot, hot gas, so you got to be careful. Um, plasma cutting will actually tell you when you're going too fast or too slow. And one of the ways it tells you that is if you go way too fast, the sparks will come right towards you, back on you. You don't want that. You want the sparks and all the dross to go down on the floor. So if you're going the right speed, all the sparks and the dross will go on the floor, making the right cut. Remember, plasma will cut anything that conducts electricity. You can go left to right, right to left. It really doesn't matter. All right, we just made a cut as you saw. And remember, you want all the dross and all the sparks to go towards the floor, okay? Again, if you're going too fast, the sparks will come to you and it won't properly cut all the way through. So you wanna make sure all the sparks are going through the floor. Drop the piece off, you're ready to go. Remember, you can make circles, you can cut the corners, you can cut the whole piece, or you can use a guide. You can actually put a guide down, cut a straight line if you need a straight line, cut a triangle. Again, totally up to you. Because the plasma kerf is on an angle, okay, it actually cuts on an angle. As you get towards the end of your piece, you actually want to angle the torch back a little bit so you make sure you nip that edge off so you get an actual drop cut. If you don't, if, you, if you're too much at a 90, it may not cut that corner, it might just hang up there. Remember, never use the torch as a hammer. If it doesn't cut all the way through, take a hammer, knock the piece off. But again, if you come across, angle back a little bit as you get towards the end, it'll drop right off. And then what you're left with is a little bit of dross on the back. You either can take a, a, a small file or you can take another piece of material and actually knock some of that dross off if you need to. Again, a small file will work really well too.